hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i will be sharing with you a few self-care tips that you do not have to break the bank for so if you're interested in this video sit back relax and let's get into this video hey fam how are you doing today welcome back to my channel my name is toby at children thank you for tuning in again today thank you for stopping by if this is your first time you are super welcome i am so excited to have you here with me on this channel we talk about topics tips and tricks that would help us grow fearlessly into the best versions of ourselves so if you're interested in tips like this then please click the subscribe button so you get notified when we have new videos up on this channel and do not forget to share with your friends and family so they do not miss the goodies that we share in this channel today i will be sharing with you a few self-care tips that you do not have to break the bank for these tips are inexpensive and they are very vital to how we become the best versions of ourselves or put us on our journey of personal and self-development so let's get into today's video anytime we hear something about self-care or yeah self-care we are always thinking maybe travel go to a restaurant break the bank buy something for yourself hang out with friends and family and all of that and all of these are self-care tips don't get me wrong they are all self-care tips but there are other self-care tips that we also should be looking at to make sure that we are well-rounded individuals that are actually caring for ourselves as much as we are caring for others so while self-care tips include traveling taking yourself out going for a massage getting a spa treatment and all of that good stuff hanging out with friends and family and all of that good stuff there are other self-care tips that we should be looking at and i'm going to be sharing with you these unconventional self-care tips that i think will be helpful and first on my list is that you need to build a relationship with yourself I cannot overemphasize how much it is important for you to have a relationship with yourself. The relationship that you have with yourself matters a lot and it also sets the bar for how you also build relationship with other people or how you work on how you build the relationship that you have with others including friends, family and even just strangers. You need to work on a relationship with yourself have a very good solid important relationship with yourself so this could involve you getting to know yourself yeah yeah we would say you're taking yourself out and all of that but it doesn't even have to be spend time with yourself take a day or two to just be by yourself if you're going to travel travel by yourself if you're going to go to a restaurant go to the restaurant by yourself get to know yourself as you would get to know somebody that you want to know as you get to know a new friend or a relationship that you would want to build a budding relationship budding, a budding relationship that you want to work on or make important in your life make your relationship with yourself important by getting to know yourself so ask yourself questions like what do i like what are the things that i do not like what are the ways i want to be cared for what are the ways i want to be loved what are the things that i want to put into myself how do I invest in myself? What are the things that I am doing for myself? What are the things that I am investing in to make sure that as much as others are important to me, I am also important to myself. So love yourself, create time to spend time with yourself. Yes, create time to spend time with yourself. Make sure you are doing things that you love. You're reading books that you want to read. You're eating food that you know is good for you. You are staying away from negativity. Anything that is draining you, anything that makes you tense, that makes you anxious, that makes you unhappy, you're staying away from it. You're investing in yourself financially, um, personal development wise, spiritually, physically every way you're investing in yourself because you're telling yourself that you are important to you so the first self-care tip that i'm going to share with you is that you need to build a relationship with yourself and the second one is that you need to set boundaries so this is i'm almost saying closely related but it's not closely related but it kind of has a stem a root in building a relationship with yourself so setting boundaries means that you are in control of how you want to be treated, how you want to be cared for, how you want to be spoken to. So not everybody that seems like 
Yeah. Not everybody that seems reasonable has to be your friend. Not everybody that seems nice, not everybody that seems kind has to be your friend. That this person is your friend's friend doesn't mean they have to be your friend. If you are not feeling the vibe of i want to be in association with you you do not have to be so set boundaries around yourself set boundaries for yourself to make sure that things that you know you are not able to take you are not taking them if you don't like how somebody talks to you then you should be able to correct how that person talks to you set boundaries around yourself to make sure that things that you cannot take things that you cannot stand they do not come near you in any way. You are in control of how you want to be treated. If somebody treats you in a way that you don't like them to treat you and it's going to affect you, it's going to get to you, correct it immediately and make sure it doesn't get there. That is how you set boundaries around yourself. You're making sure that things that are not in alignment with your value system, things that are not in the way you want them to be, things that do not necessarily matter to you are not mattering to you. If it's not helping you in any way, if it's not something that you willingly want to be interested in, if it's not something that you can take, if it's not something that you can stand, if it's not something that you do not even want to have anything to do with, you are not having anything to do with it because you have set boundaries around yourself to make sure that such things do not come near you. So if it's a friendship that you don't want to be, then you're cutting it off not just cutting it off because you feel like this person is not adding to you but because it is taking away from your stability and it's taking away from how you feel about yourself so set boundaries to make sure that things that affect you in the negative way and not even having a chance to get to you we could have been in situations where all of these things has gotten to us before but then as we're setting new routines or we're setting new steps or we're setting new value systems as to how we want to be treated or cared for then you are making sure that you're taking intentional steps to make sure that all of the things that get to you are not being done around you the third self-care tip i'm going to share with you is that you need to eat right eat right and when i say eat right i'm not just talking about food what you put in your mouth though that is also important but when it comes to eating right i'm talking about what you let in your body so that food what you drink, what you let in your mind. So thoughts, actions, ideas, and all of that. What you let in your spirit and all of that. So feed yourself right. If it's not nutritious to you, you don't have to take it. If it is not helpful to you, if it's not helpful to your growth, if it's not helping you to grow into the version of you that you want to be, then you don't have to be involved in it. So as much as we watch what we eat, as much as we watch the physical food that we eat, what we let into our system, the, um, what's it called? Healthy diet that we're trying to work on, the feed farm journey that we are trying to go on and all of that, as much as you watch all of that, which is very important for us to watch you're also being careful of what you allow into your mind so you're staying away from negative thoughts you're staying away from negative actions and beliefs things that are not in again alignment with your value system or even your values your beliefs and all of that you are not letting it into your mind because the mind is very powerful and what you let into your mind consciously gets registered in your subconscious mind to the point that you don't even have control of how it works again until you get to an intentional act again so that's a lot of journey that's a lot of process so it's just better for you to be careful of what you allow into your mind and also it's important for you to be careful of what you allow into your spirit what are you feeding your spirit with are you feeding it with the important things that you should be feeding it with or you're only feeding it with what you hear on um whatever whatever it is that people are saying is what you're just allowing into your spirit as well we need to be careful of what we feed ourselves spirit soul and body it is very important for us because those are the things that helps us to be who we are and who we want to be if it is not good if it is not nutritious if it is not helping you in any way you do not have to be associated with it so the third self-care tip is that you should eat right eat right physically eat right spiritually and eat right mentally the fourth self-care tip i'm going to share with you is that you should be at peace with all men so this does not mean that everybody is your friend it just means that not all fights should be fought not all battles are yours to fight not all fights are yours to fight not all gossip is yours to hear not all misunderstanding is yours to solve as well 
be at peace with all men so that means that you are intentionally not picking fights with people you are intentionally not just involving yourself with battles or arguments that you don't even have any justification for being in if it is not something that is passionate to you you don't have to be fighting it if it's not something that is dampening your self-esteem or dampening your self um, identity if it's not dampening your self identity if it's not affecting how you are being perceived or seen by others you don't have to be involved in the fight be at peace with all men also means you are talking to people in understanding and with love with understanding and with love you are not talking to people anyhow you're not rude you're not um what's that word you are not inconsiderate you are not just being saucy for no reason or being nasty you are at peace with all men you are not fighting fights that you should not be fighting you're not being involved in arguments that you should not be involved in you are just someone that is at peace with people you're not instigating fights you're not spreading lies you're not spreading gossip you're not just talking anyhow about people you are in the mind your business ministry and that is it you're minding your business and you're at peace with people these are four self-care tips that i think we could also include in our self-care routine that would help us to be intentional about how we treat ourselves our relationship with ourselves and how we are joining on our personal development journey so to recap i will just share them again the first thing is that you need to build and work on a solid amazing relationship with yourself you need to set boundaries around you what you don't want you're not allowing into you three you need to eat right so you're watching what you eat physically you're watching what you eat mentally and you're watching what you eat spiritually and the first thing is that you are at peace with all men so you're not involved in fight sites not your fight and you are not instigating fights you're not spreading gossip and you're not gossiping about people these are four self-care tips that i think would be very helpful for you to you and to others so please share with me in the comment section any unconventional self-care tips that you already embark in i would love to learn from you as well share with me in the comment section if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i hope you enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed talking about it don't forget to share with your friends and family if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to this channel so you get notified when we have new videos up and i'll catch you in the next one till next time bye